outside. Better take a picture over here. Boy. Yeah, this is St. Andrews Recreation Center where Trayvon got started at. Hitting balls, triples and singles, and little bitty kid. Little baby looking little kid, but hey, he had a great time. He put St. Andrews on the map right here. How big was he as a kid? Was he bigger than anybody else, or he was, was he slim. small? He was a little slim, little youngster. You know, with a little fell, little youngster, but he had growth in him. And he was quick, and he covered a lot of ball out here. Right here on this diamond, he played shortstop, played center field, and did a little pitching. Had a little, had a little live arm that came on the hill and throw. Live arm. Right here. Him and his brothers, they came out right here. That's where I had a chance. A guy called me and said, maybe they come here. I got a kid that you really look, need to look at. And I started following from here. Right here. Trayvon Robinson, right here. That's his daughter's honesty. How good was he? Devastating. Kid batted 489. 17 home runs and 33 stolen bases. How good was this team? That year, we, we, we took a second in the league. We lost to Fremont. Then right after that, he left for Dynasty. We won it three years in a row, 2006, 2007, 2008. Trayvon, uh -huh. I, I see him hit a ball right here in the gap. And from this angle, you would think you would be throwing him out right here. He took off. And, and inside the park home run from right here, in a gapper. Then he came and, and, and when we played Fremont, Fremont had beat us the first game and we came back in the same game. Trayvon hit two home runs, devastating home runs. And I knew then he was gonna make it. You know, he got his head together, he got he slowed down and, and got his mind focused on baseball. I'm really proud of him. And I remember an old scout named uh, Pope told me, he said, hey, you got a kid right here who's going to make it, man. Just stay on top of him, keep him focused, and get him involved in a lot of baseball. Trayvon and his brother was hit the floor. And I learned then, I'm coming to get my kid. I'm not going to let him get caught up here. So they shot through it, the window. They, was, they were shooting, and one of the bullets hit the house. They're shooting somebody else through here. And it's a good thing that Trayvon and them was in the back and dove to the ground. So Strawberry, Davis, they all yeah, played here? All played here. Thank you, Ross, for staying From that diamond, Trayvon hit one way out here. We got another angle. We can walk around. Right here, this is Jackie Robson Stadium. This is a beautiful field right here. The old Negro League played here. Back when I was a kid, early 60s, I used to come here and walk from my uncle's house and come over here and be the bad boy. He's playing against pro guys. Brandon Watson was playing with the with the Philadelphia Phillies, and Brandon Watson played with the Washington Nationals. Was that here? They had a couple guys from the Dodgers. Uh, uh, Sap played with the Dodgers. And Trayvon hit it out to hit, the hit 4 a, Hit a rocket out of here. The 410 sign that's 410 out. 410 sign. Jackie Robinson used to be Gonzalez Park. We started the Top Prospect over 10 years ago um, to bring a local baseball program to the community where it could be less affordable for the kids to play. Um, we have a lot of programs in the area that get to have a certain address to play in the league. Our league doesn't require any boundaries, and it's very affordable, and the parent doesn't have the fees. We, um, we have payment plans, and we're just trying to keep kids um, that want to play the game of this great American pastime baseball opportunity to um, hone their skills on our, on our field here. Um, which again, it's our 10th year, and it's been a great run, and we're looking for another great 10 years. We appreciated Tray Trayvon a lot over here at Top Prospect because when he was in high school, he would come over here on Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and he was umpire for our T-ball games and our five and six-year-old games. And actually, when he was playing in his high school game, he would let some of our players sit in the dugout with him while they was playing. So he'd been a mentor for a long time for some of the kids here at Top Prospect. How good was he as an umpire? <laughs> 
<laughs> we got through the game. <laughs> no, actually, we, we was fair. We put it like that. And he done the best that he could, and he done a real good job for it. So when you first met uh, Trey at, at, at uh, Crenshaw High, what, what kind of kid was he? Uh, just a kid that worked hard. He was uh, definitely a competitor. Um, challenged himself a lot. Sometimes, sometimes people could have took it as a little bit overly over, overly competitive, uh, you know, maybe poor sportsmanship that some people would think. I just took it as he just want, he wanted it, you know. Um, never be satisfied with getting out, and, and that's why he is where he is today. So he'll come out here and work with, with some of the kids on this field sure, here? Sure, whenever he was here during the off season, um, he would come and he would work out. It was his uh, part-time job, and um, throughout that time he was working and, and getting his work in and, and helping kids as well. What? Uh, how hard is it in 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 uh, when, when you're coaching at a place like Crenshaw to convince the kids to play baseball as opposed to other sports? Well, in our in our community, sometimes a lot of kids are, are convinced to play basketball and things like that. They get things from that. Um, you get instant gratification with layups and block shots. You can see something results right then. With baseball, you can hit the ball hard four times and go 0 for four. So, um, to me, it's very hard to convince them to stay stay at step steadfast at playing um, and and keep working hard. And then one day it'll turn over.